Yo, what's up, KFC? Fight to everyone else. I have a, I have a question. Would you rather have to fight a chicken to death every time you get into a car for the rest of your life, or have to fight a chimpanzee to the death once a year for the rest of your life, but you get a sword? Oh, okay. Let me know. I was gonna say I can't, Dude. I can't beat a chimpanzee. I probably still can't beat a chimpanzee with a sword, but if I know. If I know, let's say starting right now, I have to fight a chimpanzee this year, right? Uh -huh. So let's say we do it on uh, July 29th of next year. So I have a year to train with a sword and fight that chimpanzee and then be ready for the rest of my life to fight a chimpanzee with a sword. I think I have to take that. Because a chicken, every time you get in the car, is a fucking fiasco. <laughs> every time I get in the car with my kids, I got to kill a chicken? Do I have to kill it? Or yes, or fight to the death. But, to the death. Okay, what about this? What about if I get in the no. car and the chicken's with me no. and we just fight during the ride? And then once I get no. there, I can get no, out. No, no, no. You can't turn that car on. The keys magically appear. <laughs> okay, how about if I'm, I'm, I'm passenger in a car? I think he says every time you get in a car. That's what he said. But yeah. are, are we talking like, I, mean, like I call an Uber, I got to fight a chicken? Yeah. Well, I can't. Every time I mean, you get in a car. can't happen. I don't have time for that. That's what I mean. Every time you get in a car, it's just a time I, I get annoyed enough with Uber as it is how long they – Not. by the way, I'm not Uber. I'm a Lyft guy. Yeah, um, but the – um. I get annoyed enough with Lyft when they lie to me about how long it takes, mm -hmm. and it's all, it's always three minutes, mm -hmm. and it's always, and it always takes at least. Yep, it's yep. fucking forever. 12. Yep, um, and it is. If I had to then be, I guess I have the rage in me to fight a chicken by the time that fucking car gets yeah. there. Uh, but but did but you, but like it's such a. Th you're going somewhere, right? You're nice. You're dressed up. Now all of a sudden you got chicken <laughs> blood and feathers all over the place. Yeah, you can't have you it. You can't have you that. You can't have it. No. You, you know, you, you, every you, day I come in fucking to work, just scratched up and she. What the fuck? Absolutely, because you're gonna you're gonna Fought beat the chicken. chicken. You're gonna beat the chicken. You'll kill the chicken. Probably, maybe. Not, I mean, a, a chicken like, could claw me for a, sure. A chicken. Uh, I'll tell you what. I, you know what? I don't even. I I I would fight the chimp chimp once a year sans sword, because this is it's just too many bullets being fired. One's gonna hit me if I fight a chicken. Like what? One day yeah. a chicken will get me. Right. Know, he'll, he'll get, wait, he'll, why, he'll, why are you not fighting the chimpanzee with a sword? Just, just even if even if there oh, was oh, no oh, sword, got it, got I would it, take it. that option. Got it. Because like the chicken just, will get you. The one day, but the chimpanzee uh, will kill you. Chimpanzees, uh, dude. Do you remember? Yeah, no, I know. Every every year for like four years on the blog, there was some woman who got her face transplant done because yep. her pet chimpanzee turned on her. As every wildlife expert told her would happen, <laughs> you will get your face ripped off. And chimpanzees rip your face yeah. off. Yeah. They beat you to death. <laughs> this woman happened to survive, but they will kill you. So you're dead the first time a chimpanzee fights you if you don't have a sword. And even with a sword. That's why I got to train, so I got to be good with a broadsword. Yeah, but and it would chicken... be pretty cool to have that, like, 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 you can't even train to fight a chicken. That's just, like, I got to get my hands on yeah. you, and I got to wring your neck. And I will. You, like, but... If your life depends on it, or I guess your life is dependent, but your schedule depends on it, you, uh, early on, it would be a, a nightmare. I think eventually you just, you'd be good at killing a chicken. But that doesn't mean that there still wouldn't be a fight and some clawing, and eventually they might get you on one. I mean, chickens are Feathers, fast. Blood right? every, but they're in it. You know, it's a confined space. Like, but you're not in, in the car. I, I imagine oh, I'm, vi I'm envisioning it in the car. Oh, I imagine he's guarding the door. Oh, uh, I'm envisioning you sitting. And like, in I gotta it, chase him under the fucking I'm car. He's in... jumping over the car. Well, that's impossible. Man. <laughs> you gotta catch a chicken. They fight the chicken to get in the car. Like, well, I'm not even saying you don't have to catch him because he's it's a fight to the death. But he's, I mean, he's got evasive maneuvers. Right, yeah. so like if you you yeah. you you land a good like you can't even land a punch. No, no, no. You're grabbing it. You're, you have to hold it, and you have to crack and kill, which is tough. But you know what? My dad said that my my grandma on his side, his mom used to like regularly kill chickens for like food. They were like backwoods Pennsylvania shit. So if like my grandma can go out to the coop, grab a chicken, and kill it, but like, that chicken relatively that unscathed. Chicken, that chicken probably thinks it's getting petted. True, it's not ready to fight to the death. But still, the fact that she just just the you know the hand like she could just pop that neck and kill it. I, but I I'm would, thinking a, an angry chicken. I was thinking in the car, so it's like you're in a confined <laughs> space, which is good for you to kill it, but bad for you because it's just a fucking <laughs> feather fiasco going on. But I also got kids, man. I can't be fighting chickens every time I gotta get my kids in the car. Yeah. I gotta. I, so I drop my kids off at school. Then when I'm getting back in the car, I gotta fight another chicken in front of the fucking school yeah, to get well, home. At that point, you're going. I'll watch you to the door. And think, yeah, and think, yeah. Because think about that. Anytime that you stop somewhere and run in and run out. So I get in the car at my house. I fight a chicken. and I kill it. I go to like CVS because I I need. Garbage bags. I get them. I get back in the car. I got to fight another chicken. It's been four minutes since I just fought a last chicken. Uh, you got to kill multiple chickens. Oh, but you're getting gas. I got to fight. Oh, I gotta you get out to pump, and then you got to get back in. You got to go to self-serve. You can't go to self-serve. I, mean, oh. yeah. oh I drive God. to Jersey every day. To, before Absolutely. You pump my gas for me. <laughs> I got to fight a chicken otherwise. You, you had some friend being like, can you pick me up? No, I cannot because I got to fight a fucking chicken. Dude, I, I would fight the chimp, and guess what? I'd market that shit. 
Every, once yeah. a year. Pay per view. Pay per view, baby. Yeah. I'm, I'm rich as hell. Yeah. Like me. You every, might be dead, but rich as hell. No, I, I no, because if I knew I was fighting train, you train with the, I, with the I would be. I what's the new uh, Marvel movie? It's like it's like the legend, <laughs> yeah, the legend of the talking. chains or yeah, whatever. It yeah, is. yeah, yeah. And it is. Uh, like I, I would, I would be in that ring. I'd be in that octagon, and, and we'd have a jungle theme. I'd give him a little bit of help. And I would be fucking slinging the sword. I would be so fucking shredded. You would, yeah. you could put me in a movie because I would be like, look, I, this is my right. livelihood. Well, when you know that you got to fight a chimpanzee, for a living. you will. And especially, let's say it's it's not scheduled. Let's say uh, it's random. You'll hit the gym every day because mm. you're like, tomorrow might be the day. I got to fight a chimpanzee to survive. Yeah. So you will live. I'm a, training. You know what? So yeah, everybody, live your life. Like you gotta fight a chimpanzee at some point this year. Yeah. You will live your life to the fullest. You will be yeah. a specimen. What's it like? The uh, every time I put my feet on the floor, the devil goes. He's up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, every, every time I wake up, the chimp goes. Today's the fight, dude. Even even like you know, like uh, I'm always saying no. I don't want to do things. Like you know what, man? I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna go out because maybe I gotta fight a chimp tomorrow. Dude, but maybe it would be hard to kill in. a chimp because like when you like dude, you, say no. you slice a, a chimp's throat. As it's laying there dying, you're like, that is a person. You also kill a person, yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah. That it is... also would not be easy to massacre, you know, hundreds of chickens a year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hundreds. Thousands. I think th thousands. I get in the car thousands of times. I mean, think about, you know, <laughs> that would, that would... every time you're with somebody, like, let, you know, uh, like, hop, let's hop in the car. It's like, I can't, man. It's like, why not? It's like, it's going to be a thing. Yeah. You don't understand. Like, come on, let's go to the beach. I'll walk. Oh, why? It's, it's five miles. It's gonna be Chuck. this whole thing. There's a chicken. It's a whole thing. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like Peter, Peter uh, Griffin. And he just yeah, fights. He's, he literally fights a chicken. Right, every like, fucking right. time. <laughs> uh, that's a full yeah. grown chicken. Or not full that, grown. That's like a, that's... a chimpanzee sized chicken, right. to be honest. Yeah. If you really want to get fucking ATI yeah. with it, we could do chimpanzee chickens or chip <laughs> chicken chimpanzees. Yeah. But I, I, I think that ultimately, I also think you got to hit a fucking. That sword's got to be sharp, but I feel like penetrating the fur and the flesh and the bones of a chimp is not easy. No, but I would be able. I, I, again, I, I, I have no, how no would you, concerns. How would you kill. Would you go for the head? Throat, yeah. I think I would do a shraw, like oh, a snap. Yeah, but then like you get a, fucking... Like through the stomach and up through... Like a shraw. That's a tough angle there. But he, even like a stab, I feel like it's like he could still, with his dying breath, still like, stab your neck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, he's what so about one of those, like, I jump from above and I... Uh, like a... Shroom, oh, through the top of their skull. He'd barrel roll right They're so you. fast. Next thing you know, you'd be on your back. Monkeys are you so out. fast. Yeah. That's that's what I mean. I don't even think I could hit the chimp with its with the sword. I think you know what I would do? I would wait in the corner. I would wait in the corner with my sword. I'd say, come get some chimp. I think the best thing that I can do is I think the chimp would do its jump attack for me, and I would hopefully have to just do one of those. Like I think that hold would, it up. I, I think if I'm just you're, you're, you're basically hit you, you're William Wallace doing the hold. Yes. Like just yeah, with, with the spears. Yeah. Because if I'm trying to like come that at you in the with corner the sword, just smoking cigarettes, waiting right. you out. Right. It'd be a game. Of, it'd be a game of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be a game of chicken. I think we just do that one voicemail today. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna get any better than that. That was an all timer. That almost sounded like the same guy from. Like when I, when I heard that voice, it almost sounded like the the rollerblade guy. Yeah. That was amazing. That that we need to put in all of our games. We put it in ATI. ATI is uh, is back Monday night, July fifth. Uh, Dan Soder, Shane Gillis. We got to add that question to the rotation for everybody else who comes through because it was that good. But uh, all sorts of hypotheticals on the YouTube channel. Go get your game at the Barstool store, and you can download the app for free right now and play ATI. So it's the return of Answer the Internet and phenomenal questions. <laughs> You want the good news or the bad news? Well, you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, I always go good news first. All right, the good news is when we started this shit, only 10% of people watching our YouTube videos were subscribed. And now it's up to 40%. So that's almost like a 50-50 split. That's a 30% increase. A little math for you. That's, that's the good news. Too much math for me, but it's good news. You know what the bad news is? That still means 60% of you motherfuckers aren't subscribed. It still it's means good the thing majority. I asked first, because that would have been backwards. That would have been terrible, yeah. yeah. Imagine if I was like, well, the good news is it's, it's good yeah. thing I no. fucking go good news first. 60% still just freeloading off of our videos. And guess what? It's YouTube. You're all freeloading. It's not it. really all. The only cost is to push the fucking button. Just push it. Push the button. Push it. Push it real good. Push it dun, real dun, good! Dun, 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 dun,